I'm Sarah and I'm on board the Esperanza in the Southern Ocean. I had planned by now to be able to tell you all about Greenpeace's peaceful protests against the Japanese whaling fleet. But in the last few days, the situation has changed dramatically. Many of you may have heard the fact that there was a very big fire on board the Nishin Maru, which is the whaling fleet's factory vessel. Very tragically, one man died and now the ship is completely disabled. The Esperanza was the first ship to answer the Nishin Maru's distress call last Thursday and has sailed hundreds of miles across the Southern Ocean to offer help. Since then, through Sakio, our campaigner from Japan, we've been in touch with the ship and helping with ice surveys. This is pretty key for all of us, because while the fire is now out, a very different potential danger could be ahead. So we've come inside out of the cold to explain to you what we mean. And here's the chart of where we actually are in the Southern Ocean. This is our captain, Frank, and he can explain what the problem is and what we're most concerned about, which is the ice that's coming towards us. So Frank, show us where we are. At the moment we are here. This is like the 12 o'clock position for today. This is where we found, of this is where the initial mayday went out from the mission group, so they have drifted north quite a bit, which is good. That means to open sea, open sea. But we've received this last ice map, and I sort of transferred this ice into this chart, and you can see there's quite a bit of ice all the way here, which is this one. Mm. And even though this is not the thickest ice or the most heaviest ice you can imagine, but there is still quite a lot of ice. My big worry is, is that the winds are blowing from this direction and blows this whole lot, including the Nishimaru, in this direction and that it gets entangled in all this ice. And if it sort of starts hitting the continent, the ice, it just starts piling up, piling up, and then it will be very hard to tow out. Do you have any idea of how long it might take? No, that's not really. I mean, if, if the wind stays like it is, it's not a problem. But the thing is, if the wind turns around and the weather is very, very unpredictable here, so sooner or later it will start blowing out of the east. A large pack of ice to our east that we're concerned about. Uh, it's about 50 to 50, 60 miles long, running north south, uh, broken sea ice. Greenpeace has offered to help the fleet, including towing the Nishin Maru if necessary, because it's the right thing to do to keep the people and the environment from further harm. I've been working for Greenpeace in Alaska for just about a decade and I have a decent amount of experience with oil spills and polar wa waters. And I can tell you that any efforts at trying to contain and then remove oil from the polar environment is incredibly difficult, especially down here in the Southern Ocean where the Nishimaru is in a remote part of the Ross Sea and there's no oil spill equipment for hundreds of miles, if that. The conditions here in the Ross Sea can change at any moment. This is one of the most hostile marine environments in the world. So if there is any oil spilled in this environment, it's going to be incredibly difficult to contain and then get it out of the environment. I would say near, if not completely impossible. We'd like to make a direct appeal to the Japanese government to urgently take up our offer for the sake of their crew and the environment. It seems pretty clear that this whaling season is over, but that doesn't mean an end to whaling. And Greenpeace will continue to peacefully protest until we bring the commercial hunt to an end. But for now, our thoughts and our actions have to be focused on the people on board the Nishin Maru and the pristine environment of Antarctica. We hope you'll continue to support us.